Well, professional athletes in California have had enough. Now, lawmakers are stepping up to crack down on those field crashers. CBS 2 Stacey Butler joins us live from Anaheim to show us how. Stacey. Well, Pat, right now, as it stands in California, if you run wild on the field or in the court or throw anything there, it's a slap on the wrist. It's like a $250 fine. Well, lawmakers, along with some major sports teams here in the state, are out to change that, all in the name of protecting the players. Fans behaving badly. We've all seen it. Hey, somebody is running out on the field. Some goofball in a hat. They do it at NFL games and NBA games. Take a look at this guy hugging Kobe on the court. And in a lot of baseball games, too, this guy ran to give a Giants left fielder a flower. It didn't end so well. And the crowd loved that. Dodgers announcer and former player Rick Monday even had to stop two guys from burning an American flag on the field during a game 40 years ago. It looks like he's going to burn a flag, and Rick Monday runs and takes it away from him. But now, if California lawmakers have their way, unruly fans won't just be slapped with a $250 fine anymore. They'll face 10 days in jail and have to pay $2,500. Fans at tonight's game at Angel Stadium had plenty to say. It's for the protection of the players. You know, you don't know, you know, what type of fan. Yeah, it starts out funny, but you just don't know how serious it can be. If you have something like that in place, then I really, really feel that it would stop, you know, the, I guess, the copycatters. You know, I think it's a good thing because it interrupts the game. And it um, puts the players in danger. You can never be um, too safe these days. Which is, uh, you know, guys, you're just trying to have a good time. And um, they run on the field, they think it's okay. And, but I don't think they should be uh, criminally charged. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, I think it's a bit excessive. But the Anaheim Angels vice president of operations says while security is tight, crazed fans are a growing threat to vulnerable players focused on the game. I think years ago you used to look at it as almost funny. Unfortunately, some of the things that go on in our society, and you, you, know, you certainly don't want to be pessimistic about it, you can't take chances. Well, the Angels of Anaheim is one of five teams here in the state that sponsored the bill. That's the latest from Anaheim. Back to you guys in the studio. All right. Thanks, Stacey.